What's up, fellow YouTubers? Got done smoking a tiny halfy. Put that out. Check out the wand I have ready to be podged. You can tell that the tip is definitely a glow in the dark. Should have dry. Oh yes, the paint on that is drying perfectly. So now this is the Mod Podge that I use on my wands. I go ahead and open it up. <laughs> now we got the case opened. Just a lid off. Let's see if we can get the uh, seal off. Get it opened up. Oh yes. Trash cans back here. Uh, fresh container of Mod Podge. One second. Dunk it in the podge and then smear the podge all over the wand. And take the, that mod podge and just smear it all over the wand. You can see how. Oh, it's been coated. I'll give it another dip. Just put it on the same side. This is usually how I podge my wands. Perfect amount of podge. All right, the wand has a fresh coat of podge. Let's set it down to dry. Son of a gun. I got plenty of wands to start carving and sanding tomorrow. That ain't nothing but a thing. But uh, well, I figured why not add a glow in the dark tip to my wand just to show YouTube how it's done. Really, it's simple. I'm gonna wash my hands. If you want your wand to glow in the dark, you spray paint the part you want to glow in the dark 
paint the part you want glowing with a coat of white spray paint. Let it dry. One to two coats of glow in the dark max. Let it dry. Then you add the Mod Podge gloss luster luster to it and boom. Let it dry. There you go. Pretty straightforward. I like having glow in the dark tips on my wand and the wand to give one of my wands a fresh look and it looks freaking beautiful. Yeah. Now that my wand is podged, my hands are washed, let's grab some munch. Mm -hmm. I don't eat much, mostly meat. Right now, munching on some Johnsonville cheddar stuffed, bacon stuffed, bratwurst type stuff, you know. The Johnsonville sausage patties that are stuffed with bacon and cheddar cheese. Mm-hmm. They're pretty good. Making a video and passing it out. Mm. That's good meat. Oh, believe me, I've had some alcohol. You saw my last drink combination. I mixed Red Bull Yellow Edition with Dr. Pepper and Jack Daniels, colored a yellow cobra. Fucking delicious. My buddy Phil wants to get his own Etsy business started, so I'm like, hey, man, I welcome the friendly competition, you know. I enjoy motivating other people to get off their ass and do something. So, yeah. Now, I've had enough Jack Daniels to get me a good buzz going, so I want to sip on this can of Mountain Dew for a second. We'll let one dries overnight. Now when that wand dries, all that Mod Podge will dry clear and it'll make the wand shiny. So I've had alcohol tonight and I've reached my limit where I'm comfortable. I got a good buzz going. I don't have to be obnoxiously drunk to do a video. I really don't. People accuse me of being an alcoholic and I'm like, huh? But people want some badass cooking vids for the holidays. We can make that happen. The next bacon cheeseburger I make is going to be bacon cheddar jalapeno themed, just like the last one. 
but we'll be adding some jerky instead. So, I'm getting ideas for cooking videos. People like them, so that's all that matters. Putting bacon that's jalapeno flavored and jerky that's jalapeno flavored. You got Jack Link's jalapeno beef jerky. Putting onto a cheddar jalapeno bacon cheeseburger. We can make that happen. Yep. Make a burger so good and make you want to smack your mama. Cause you already know Cobra makes bomb ass burgers. Don't even play don't even play me. And fuck the people talking shit. Fuck them. Legitimately, it's not worth your time, man. It's not. I definitely drink enough Jack Daniels with my buddy Phil. His girlfriend Bree wasn't getting off work and he was getting ready to crash out for the evening, so I had to get home and work on my wands anyway, so you know. I had to wrap up the festivities for the evening. I get home and the fresh paint job I put on my wand is done drying. Show the final step of how I punch the wands and boom. I call that a good video. Even if I show you various tips and techniques that I do to make the wands that I make, it's not going to take away from the customer base because people are always going to want a Cobra Craft wand. That's just how it is. Especially with the last awesome reviews that I got on my Etsy. I greatly appreciate it. Always nice to see when I got a returning customer. That makes me feel good about what I'm doing. Quite honest. Yeah. On my last video, people were like, why do you fall for this fake bullshit? Well, if the article about the teen unplugging her grandma's life support was fake, why would you make an article about that, even if it was fake? That's just messed up and lame. You know, I'll never quite understand that part of our society that says you have to make up messed up shit to be satirical. You know, I don't know. So if the last story that I ranted about was fake, I'm like, that's not even funny making a story like that just to get people pissed off about nothing. I mean, really. Ugh, people are just that bored with their lives. I podge the wands by hand. I used to use brushes, but podging them by hand like you just saw me do is how I do when I make my wands. 
that's exactly how I put the final step on the wand before I ship them out and put them on Etsy. Yeah. I got one comment saying, I think the spray paint on your chair went to your head. Hardy har har. That's uh, hairspray that turns my hair green, you smart asses. Well, I can be a smart ass too. People on YouTube are like, you should do your research. Shame on you, Josh. I'm so disappointed in you. Blah, 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 blah. And then when they see I actually got some fact, some facts to back up what I say, now all of a sudden the ball game's changing. Believe that. Used to think Cobra was a racist asshole. Now all of a sudden they're like, wait a minute, Cobra's woke and he respects race issues and gender equality issues. Huh, how about that? But yeah, I got two more sticks to carve and turn into wands. Plus, I got a couple that need to be carved before I sand them. A couple that need to be sanded and started on the paint job. So, I got enough wands to keep me busy for the moment. I've gathered my wand wood. So now, I make another sexy batch of wands. Watch out. People want to talk shit and say that what I do is not a real job. Fuck them. I'm collecting sticks when the weather's shitty and there's snow outside. I'll freeze my arse off to collect sticks. As long as I have quality wands for Etsy, I don't give a shit how cold the weather is. And if people want to talk shit, that's their problem, not mine. I'm doing things the right way and they're jealous. Of my success you know that's what it feels like I'm doing my thing and I'm good at what I do and people are just being jealous little pricks fuck them anyways YouTube Thank you for watching my little night video, and I'll catch you later.